Hi everybody, thanks for pressing play on the video today. It's Caroline here from craftycarolinecreates.com. Today's project is this really quite special gift box. You can hear it rattling, it has something special inside. These are what I actually made to send out to the customers that shopped with me in October as their thank you gift pack. And I was kind of quite happy with the way this turned out. Um, it has a secret sort of special opening. So basically at the back, we've just got a standard box that I made using the envelope punch board. And this bit here is a belly band. So we'll slide that down and I'll show you what um, each lady got inside here. They got um, a six inch square of some of the black glimmer paper, some of the gold foil and the silver foil cardstock. Look how glittery that is. And then they also got, I'm going to open this one up um, and show you. I hope the lady that receives this pack does mine because this is too beautiful not to share with you. This is the Winter Wonderland vellum stack. And how beautiful is that? I just want to sit and stroke it actually. I don't know if I could bear to bear to use it. Um, this is really, really beautiful. Look at those gold snowflakes there really pretty so each lady got that inside the box at the back but as I said this bit is a belly band just slide it back on but it's kind of a special belly band because on the front here there is a little box and this opens in quite a special way that I'm quite proud of and this is what we're going to concentrate on showing you today how to make if we just fold butterfly up you see that the butterfly is actually acting as the closure for the box. Did you see that? So it pops through there and then you fold it up and it's like the lid slides over the butterfly to open. That opens up like that and inside each lady also received one of these little pots with these gorgeous, can you see how beautiful they are, little Wonderland snowflake embellishments. They are beautiful. So that was the thank you gift um, I sent out. If you'd like to get a pack like this in the post next month, just place a stamping up order um, through me or through my website and you can look forward to a similar pack. But today I'm gonna to concentrate on showing you how I made the gift box because I think this especially would be fantastic for gifting so many different things over Christmas and I love the little clever opening. So let's get on and show you how we made it. So we are going to start with two pieces of cardstock. This piece measures um, three and five eighths by eight and seven eighths. It's just whisper white. And this piece is a long strip. I've actually stuck together two pieces of cardstock that um, measured two and five eighths in this dimension. And you need to stick two pieces together so that you end up with a strip that measures um, about 14 inches in length, okay? So you need to stick together two pieces of cardstock to do that. We're gonna start with some stamping and the stamp set we are gonna use actually, I'm not sure if you recognize it from the belly band, it is actually a Christmas set. It is reason for the season and we're gonna use, I've used this Ponsettia stamp set to create this gorgeous flower border to show you that not all Christmas sets are just for Christmas. So we, I made these um, gift sets using an array of the um, Regal colours. So this one was Perfect Plum. And what I've done is I've already made the base box using the envelope punch board. If you don't know how to do this, let me know and I can do another video showing you how to make these simple boxes using the envelope punch box. This measures six inches by six inches to fit the, the vellum perfectly. This is um, Cajun Craze. I did a whole, the whole rainbow of the regals. I'll put a picture showing you all the colors on my blog so you can see which is your favorite. So what you need to do is pick, um, obviously the Cajun Craze matching ink pad and then two other complementary colors. I've gone for um, Delightful Dijon and Always Artichoke. And what we need to do is stamp a random pattern like this all over both pieces of cardstock. So I've done this one completely. We just need to finish off um, this piece. So my stamp set is already mounted. I am going to open up my inks. There we go. And I'm also gonna bring in the um, 
my stamping scrub, I'll just put that down so I can clean quickly between stamping. Just a piece of scrap of um, paper underneath. And I'm just going to start stamping and finish off that random pattern, giving it a good clean in between. I think a bit of always artichoke to finish off in that gap there. And that's a really as simple as it is. You're just making that random pattern all over your box. You're all over your cardstock. Okay. While we've got the ink out, what we also need to do is on a scrap of Whisper White cardstock, is to stamp our butterfly which is going to go in the middle of our closing this comes from the ever popular ever fantastic papillion potpourri we're using this small sort of realistic um butterfly so i'm going to do that in cajun craze so a bit of ink on there and we'll stamp that off and we'll put that to one side to use it later okay let's put all of the ink away so we are done with our stamping. Okay, and we are ready to do a bit of scoring. So let's bring in the scoreboard. And using our smaller piece of cardstock, so this is a piece that measures um, five and three eighths by eight and seven eighths of an inch. We're gonna score it along the long side at two and five eighths of an inch. three and one eighth of an inch, five and three quarters of an inch, and six and a quarter of an inch, okay? Turn it around 90 degrees and we're gonna score it at half an inch, and we're gonna score it at three and one eighth of an inch. All of the dimensions will be on my blog as always, so don't worry about rushing to write those down. We're just going to very quickly fold and burnish along our score lines. Okay, last two. Okay. And then we're going to do some cutting. We're going to cut up where we've made this these little two little squares here and here we're just going to cut up each of those like that and give them a little notch out okay turn it round there and up there Last one. Okay. Then I'm just going to use glue dots now to build this up. Before we do that, we need to cut out our, our closing aperture. We're going to use the word window punch to do that. Now, you want to punch it into the centre of one of these end flaps, okay? It can be any side because it is symmetrical at the moment. A good trick to do that is if you punch out um, a shape from any piece of um, scrap card stuff and just put a little bit of glue on the back there you can then position that where you want it to be in the middle of that square something like that and then you've got a nice little guide so if you line up that in the hole of your punch you'll make sure you get your hole nicely in the center um, of your box like that when you punch it out okay now we've done that we can start building up our box so I'm just going to fold these two these four flaps over and I'm just going to put a glue dot I made quite a lot of these and I found that glue dots were the easiest way to build this up so I'm just going to put a glue dot on the outside on the underside of each of these flaps so the stamp side needs to have the glue dot on it Okay, and then we're going to fold up a box and these flaps need to stick to the outside flap so this middle bit will stay um, sort of flapping around for want of another word okay so we'll just press those into position on all four sides okay 
So we end up with something that looks like this at that stage, okay? Now what I like to do is just put a little chamfer on each of these. So I'm just gonna use my scissors to do that. And starting with the point at the crease there, I'm just gonna cut a diagonally across to the other side. So you can see how that's put a nice little angle on there. I'm gonna do that on this side. Just makes it a little bit easier to fold up when you put that nice little um, chamfer on. Okay. There we go. So we are nearly getting there. Okay, so you can see how our box is going to fold up. So this flap's gonna fold in first and then this one is gonna fold on top. And you can see how you've got that beautiful box. And then, as I said, to keep it closed, we're gonna use that gorgeous butterfly um, technique. So we have already stamped um, our little butterfly. So I'm gonna punch that out using the, um, the smaller of the butterfly punches, which coordinates perfectly. And then I have a scrap of Cajun Craved cardstock and I'm just going to stamp out a butterfly using the larger butterfly punch. And these will layer up perfectly on top of each other. Just give you a little bit of tumble to do that. Okay, we can pick this up. That's gonna press down in the middle there. Okay, oh, far too much glue. Squirt it out a bit. Let me wipe some of that off. Okay, if you if you get this coloured one, um, I apologise for the glue seepage. And then I'm just going to fold that butterfly in half. So I fold it in half, and I'm just going to put a very thin sort of slither of glue along the spine of the butterfly, like that, where the fold is, and then. I'm just going to stick that down in the gap that we created using our word window punch. Okay, so that will stick down and stick like that and that will dry and then you'll be able to use that as your mechanism for opening the box. Okay, perfect. So while that's drying, let us start making up our box. So inside I have some of the goodies. So this is the vellum and the cardstock and the glimmer paper. I'm gonna slide in there. Okay. And then I'm just gonna use one little glue dot on the underside of the flap just to help keep it closed. So we'll fold that over and down. You see how useful these little boxes made the envelope punch board are. Then I've got my stamped strip that is going to be my, my belly band. And what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to use, um, use my fingers to pinch that belly band round like that. Line those up, those edges so they overlap. There we go. And then I'm just going to put a strip of fuse, a few strips of fuse along the end there and we can then stick that down like that. Okay, last thing to do is we just need to open up a box, you can see how it pops through that butterfly we've stuck down. Pop in my little pot, here it is, of um, those snowflake winter wonderland embellishments. Close up the box, the butterfly side goes down first, and then we can fold it in, oh, hasn't quite dried, fold it in half and through the opening there, push that down, and then a little bit of tombow on the back of the box, and we can stick it onto our belly band. Now I like to put it on the side where the fold, where the join is, you can't, so it hides the join nicely. And there we go, that is a beautiful box ready to go out. And as I said, just this box on its own would be a lovely way of giving some gifts. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did receive one of these in the pack, 
in the post let me know what color you received and whether you enjoyed the box and um, I will be back on Friday with another project um, if you would like to order any Stampin' Up products it would be my honor and pleasure to place the order for you so please don't hesitate to get in touch thanks a lot bye bye